Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're gonna have a conversation about two different uh, types of grain calf and uh, why you would choose one over the other. Um, and I take that back, it's not grain calf, it's grain shoes. And we're gonna start with the pair on the left here, uh, which is, they're both Carminas, but this is a Baker calf. This is a whole cut with a foul Adelaide pattern in it. But this is that Baker Russian calf that's supposed to look like the shipwreck, shipwreck leather and has a beautiful hatch pattern in it. A little different than your standard hatch grain. Um, uh, this actually costs about the same as Shell Cordovan. Uh, it's um, a little bit harder to get uh, than your standard leathers. Not everybody has it. And this is an example of a really interesting um, uh, shoe uh, on the, uh, this is a six eyelet. Um, this is actually on the Simpson last. And then this one is actually a hatch grain shell cordovan. And this is on the Booger last. And uh, you can see there's some really interesting details on this. Uh, this also has a, a light colored sole uh, edge. This actually has a green sole. And you can see the lighting has a little bit different. I also use different color shell cordovan creams on it. But as you can see, um, the shoes are a little bit different in age. I got these first, uh, but I've probably worn them about the same because uh, I do have a lot more call to wear austerity brogues. And um, overall, I would say that they're in very similar shape. Um, I think that the, uh, the Baker calf um, uh, wears just a little bit better, but that could also be the last. Um, in fairness, the lasts do fit quite differently. And, uh, you know, they're, um, this is Shell Cordovan with this embossed uh, print on it. And it has a really nice grain. I'm going to just zoom up here on the texture so you can kind of see it. Really tight across the uh, toe, but this really nice texture across the shoe. And Shell Cordovan in texture is relatively new. Um, certainly something that was new to me in the last few years. And uh, I really do like it. I think that it has a lot of utility. I think Carmina does a great job with it. Like all Cordovan from um, uh, Carmina, it is from Horween. And um, if I'm gonna say from a care, price-wise, they're about the same. From a care perspective, you know, um, Baker, you just treat like regular calves. You can polish it. You can use your your standard um, conditioner and then a cream polish and then a wax polish. And then even if you want like a high shine polish on top, uh, Cordovan is just Cordovan cream. Uh, you can use a sleeking bone. You can use ebony. Uh, you can use regular deer bone. A lot of different things that you can do. Um, you can work and get some of this stuff out of there, although I like the way it ages, so I'm not especially worried about that. And um, I would say both of these leathers are meant to last, so there's no reason why these wouldn't go through four or five resoles and the leather uh, uppers look just beautiful. So from a uh, just a shoe perspective, this actually has a triple sole on it. And go close, you can kind of see that. Now this has a double sole, but you'll also notice it's about the same uh, overall size of the sole because the sole on this one is quite a bit thicker. Um, but at the same time, uh, not very much difference. Uh, obviously the pattern on this has six eyelets versus five. And um, this is, the, I mean, the pattern of the shoe is completely different, but just the leather itself, I'm gonna say that I really prefer the way the texture on the baker is a little bit more profound in the way that these are lasted. Now this is a whole cut. So normally this would be even stretched a little bit further and they still has this gorgeous texture on it where here the texture is a little bit thinner and um, just not quite as uh, lustrous, I guess, from my perspective um, as on the other one. Now um, from a care perspective, again, Regular shoe care, shell care, not a lot of difference, a lot of brushing. And, uh, you know, I just used my little short hair 
for her brush and I'm able to do that. And actually I used that on the, on the Baker as well. Uh, the stiff, shorter hairs uh, make it really good for texture because really what you need to do when you haven't worn a shoe in a while is brush off the dust out of the texture so the texture can really show. And then you can put a little product on or not. These do have a fresh coat of uh, severe cordovan cream and this has nothing fresh on it. Um, I did polish these right uh, before the last wear, so um, they are in pretty good shape, as you can see. So it is an interesting choice. Uh, at the end of the day, um, I, I am a fan of Cordovan, and so if I were to choose it again, I would probably choose Cordovan, although I do think that in every sizable shoe collection, you should have at least one pair in the Baker Russian calf. I think the difference in the pattern is really, really cool. And especially when you pair it with like a hole cut like this, uh, it just stands out in a very special way. So something that uh, you should you should think about as you're continuing to build your collection. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Just a few thoughts here um, and really in response to a comment from one of our uh, viewers. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot in the comments below. And thank you again for uh, watching and let me know what you think.